Hey crew, it's Pit, and I'm back with another reaction video. I thought I was done for the day, and stuff might be a little bit late tomorrow. Well, no, never mind. Oh, uh, I thought I was done for today, and then I saw this. I just got done watching the Ryan Upchurch live. If you haven't seen that, check it out. He is inviting all the smoke, and if he actually kicks something off, I'm going to cover it. Uh, this is Buddy Brown. Just dropped this 15 minutes ago. This is Biden's getting ready to find out he ain't king. And I absolutely have to cover this. So let's dig in. What's going on, y'all? You saw that title and it said Biden's about to find yep, out that that's he why I'm here. King. And I can't wait to elaborate on all this stuff. Um, I feel like I'm feeling something and I'm seeing something that most people just don't see. And I personally love being the bearer of good news. I am with you. Like, I've been feeling a change in some shit here lately. As all subscribers, make sure you hit like before this video even starts. You know where I'm going with this. You know it's going to be American. Let's you know go, Brandon. And every time you hit like on a Buddy Brown video, a communist cries and wets his pants. And that... That's reason enough to do it. Is doing that. <laughs> That's reason enough to do it right there. So, I'm going to go ahead and watch. Y'all can watch me click it. Bam. Just like that. Here we go. The way I see it, right now you have Florida governors and Texas governors and about 10 others on the sidelines because they don't have the balls to step out yet, but they will. I believe they will. About to I say, hope they will. You know what? You're not king. You don't decree stuff to me up there in Washington. Nice. We're going to do what we have to do. You go and do what you have to do, but we're not listening. You have a ton of pilots all saying sometime around Thanksgiving, and let's pray that they have the balls to follow through as well, saying we're just going to walk out. You have implemented treasonous laws on our company, on my personal life, and the way I put food on the table for my personal family. Rock on. And I'm not going to put up with it anymore. We're walking out. We're done. Just because the king decrees it doesn't mean we're going to do it. Doesn't mean you have to do it. Nobody can force you to do anything. Do you understand that? I Once do. You pass enough I do. I understand that. Listens anymore, Very well. All of a sudden, you've reached the tipping point. I want y'all to think back about this scene from Varsity Blues, one of my favorite movies. Of I love Varsity Blues. A tan. Motherfucking tan. Of all time, one of my favorite scenes in the entire movie. In Varsity Blues, they were injecting a painkiller, a needle, into the running back's knee. Yep. He was clearly hurt. He clearly messed something up really bad. I played football. I know. They injected a, uh, something to numb the pain, which was just doing more damage. He needed surgery right then and there. And the team mutiny. The big old boy, 400 pounds, Billy Bob, said if you put that damn needle in his knee, you can find yourself another center. You put that needle in his knee, you can find yourself another quarterback. Then the backup quarterback won't even do it. All of a sudden, that's what it's about. Played by John 50 Independent States. Boy, he did an incredible job in the movie. He looks around, he realizes, I've lost power over this entire situation. He walks out into the tunnel. He's still delusional, clapping, saying, go team. He doesn't even go back out there on the field because the team has completely mutinied. At a certain point, when you keep decreeing things, and you keep mandating things, and you keep executive ordering everything, and nobody listens, and nobody enforces anything, you are not in power anymore. Bad money. That's the best thing that we can do. Mass resistance is the best thing that we can do for this whole situation. It is why I have not done this the entire time. It's why I showed up to jury duty and walked in the courthouse without the thing on. And I have two medical exemptions. I did not use them. I said, I'm not wearing it. That's it. They, they sent me home. I thought I was going to jail. But the more people that we can get doing that, the better off we are. I refuse to shop places that make this a thing. I refuse. This for sure is not going to be a thing. The Founding Fathers believed in states' rights, which, yeah, if y'all want to go out and do that treasonous crap on the left coast, in New York City, wherever, if you want to do that treasonous crap, go ahead, big boy. You go ahead and do it. Here in the free states, we're going to have our state, and you're going to have yours. Yeah. That was the original separation that was intended. A liberal, I swear, is like a kid that shows up to a high school party and tries to take your girlfriend when you go to the bathroom. He jumps in there on the couch and starts trying to talk to him. You didn't bring her. You don't know her. And now you're about to get a few teeth missing in your noggin. Oh, bro. You're about to get your shit knocked out. 
That's what's about to happen is people about to knock some shit out. Because you know what you're doing, and it ain't right. Don't try to come in here and handle our business. Bad money. You did it just fine. From the very beginning, we've done it just fine. And that's the philosophy that I try to preach on here every single day. I want to hear a bunch of Let's Go Brandon chants all over this comment section. Let's right go, Brandon. Because that is the freedom that it... If y'all ain't, check out Loza's stuff. Loza Alexander, you can find it on my page. Let's go, Brandon. ...is really coming across this country. I see the tipping point, y'all. I see the tipping point every single time that a comedian like Dave Chappelle gets up there and takes on woke culture and just gives them a middle finger and says, you know what? We're just not listening anymore. I see the tipping point every time I see 100,000 people in a college football stadium again saying, we're not going to listen anymore. Yep. So now what? The king can decree whatever he wants, but we're not listening anymore. So now what? This is a revolution. This is how it starts. It is. Make your great grandkids proud. Make your grandkids proud. Your future grandkids proud. Did grandma, did grandpa cop out? Or did they rise to the occasion? Did they do something incredible when they had the chance? This is your chance. He's not king. And you right. do not have control over your life. That is truth. You make the call. God bless you. We'll let it play on now. You know how we do? I've said this before and I'm going to say it again and I'm going to put it right here just so you can hear it. As for me, I know that I can do what must be done. I just lost my own train of thought. As for me, I know that I can do what must be done. And better ever that I should do than ever should my son. So if, dear sir, you're telling me that killing must be done, then killing I shall be about, and I'll save it from my son. That's my own piece. I, I sprinkle that in wherever I feel appropriate. And this most certainly is appropriate. The only way out of this is through it. Just like everything else we talk about. The only way to get through this is to go through this. Some trees will be watered. It's going to happen. I, I hate that. I don't want that. But it's going to happen. I can see it coming. I can see it building. And Buddy is right. There's about to be a fight. Which side are you on? Are you on the side of freedom and liberty? Or are you on the side of medical mandates? The choice is now. Buddy Brown, thank you for this. This was hot. I appreciate it. This was good stuff. This is what we need to hear. We need more of this. It's coming. To the crew, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you were here with me. And if they take me off of here, y'all find me on Bit Shoot. Find me on Rumble. This has been Pitt's Take. Peace.